Hello everyone, we are going to study topic number five of our third lesson of this quarter entitled Fiery Serpents. Now the topic for today, we're going to be looking at God became flesh. And we have um, three questions. Question eight is, what did this divine being become in order to rescue humanity from its terrible misery and hopeless condition? So yesterday we saw how Jesus um, is, was and is the creator of this earth and has all power and glory. And yet today we're going to be seeing what he became. John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth and then hebrews 2 verse 9 says but we see jesus who was made a little lower than the angels from the suffering of that for the suffering of that crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of god should taste death for every man and so he became a man lower than the angels flesh and blood and um he did that with the purpose of dying in the cross for us. Now, question B says, describe what Jesus took upon his spotless divine nature. And we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 2, verses 10, 11, 14, and 17. And here we read, For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons into glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, but as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. And so here in these verses we see that Jesus became our brother. He took our flesh and our blood, he took our form, and he also um, took our guilt and our punishment upon him so that he could destroy the devil, our enemy. And so he is not ashamed to be our brother and to carry our form with him. And our last question is, to what extent did Jesus have to humble himself so that so there is a drawing power in the cross of Calvary. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And so here we see that he, he took on our flesh. And... Um, he went through all the trials that we we go through and all the way to death. Um, that's how far he went. Philippians 2 verse 6 and 8 says, Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And so here again, even though Jesus, as we saw yesterday, is the creator and had all power and glory, he made himself lower than the angels and um, took our form so that he could die in the cross for us. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8 says, Remember that Jesus Christ of the city of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. So he came to die on the cross, a horrible death for us. 
And so as we look to the cross and we think about his suffering, we can't but be put into our place. It was like, it, it, we can't self-exalt anymore when we look at what Jesus did for us. And it will be okay for us to give up some, some things are, we are asked to give up when we realize how much Jesus left for our benefit. So may the Lord bless us and help us to remember who Jesus was, what he did for us, and to always look to him because he is the lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. I will see you tomorrow so that we can review this lesson. And um, until then, have a blessed day.